it's great to see everybody. I hope I didn't keep you waiting. <laughs> I'm John Zadar. This is On Top and Hot. And today it is September 11th, 911. We won't go there. Tomorrow being Thursday, I've got my live streaming event. I do this every Thursday, right? Four o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Me and my lovely co host Taylor, we go on for about an hour and a half taking requests from viewers like you. We're looking at stocks that you want us to look at. You got a hot ticker you want to share? Bring it on in. Drop it in the comment box. I'll go over the information. Taylor will go over the charts and we'll give you our opinions, whatever that's worth to you. Now, we can only cover so many stocks in the time we have. It's about seven to eight of them. And I do go by first come, first served. Well, when I dropped the announcement of this video earlier in the day around lunchtime, people start dropping their tickers in. So by the time four o'clock rolls around, I could easily have all the tickers that we could cover in the show. So what we're doing is we're taking like six and we're gonna save two spots for anything dropped during the show. And we're gonna pick two of the hottest penny stocks you bring us. So come on, bring us some hot penny stocks. That's what I bring you, fair's fair. That's four o'clock Eastern Standard Time when the market's closing down, I'm opening up. Tomorrow, four o'clock. So what we like to do on this show is focus in on a hot penny stock. I trade penny stocks every day, stocks under five bucks, and you can find them everywhere. But I'm always looking for a hot penny stock. And normally when I find a hot penny stock, I'm looking at the charts because you can just see heat in the chart easier and quicker than going through all the news and the filings. But when I do find a hot chart, then I'll take the time to go through the press releases and the filings looking for some hot information. If you can find some hot news to match your hot chart, voila, you've got yourself a hot penny stock. And these are the sort of stocks I'm bringing to you regularly, including right now. We're taking a look at ticker LAES, SEALS Core, SEALS Q Core. LAES, she caught my attention because she's in the midst of a breakout right now. All the charts are looking really good and she had a pretty good day today and she's doing a lot. This company is based out of Switzerland, which is perfect for what they do. Tells us here that they develop and sell cryptography-based microchips. These are chips that protect information from being released, getting out, being stolen. And isn't that what Switzerland's all about? Protecting personal data and information. So this is a perfect place for this company. So today, LAES. Finished today, just a little over 52 cents, and she was just over 9% gains. Now, we've got ourselves a hot penny stock on the major exchange. She's on the NASDAQ, which comes with benefits. Compared to the OTC, you're going to love this. All transactions are free on the major exchange. You don't have to buy your shares to get in. You don't have to pay to get out. It's free. Plus, you can trade pre-market, after-market. Lots of opportunities there to make money, folks. And you don't need any special permission. You don't need any special qualifications. Just get in there. Just trade. The one thing I'll tell you, it's the wild, wild west. Be careful. Watch your charts very closely. And two, change the time period for your order. It is not a day trade, which is in there by default. If you don't change it, it's not even going to see your order. It has to say extension or uh, extended hours or after hours, pre-market, something like that. So what is LAES all about? Well, as I told you, they do develop and sell cryptography-based microchips with quantum extension to public and private sectors. Its technology includes post-quantum features for the IT market, including authentication, brand protection, network communications. Now let's get some more information here. What this company is primarily doing on the technical side, electronic gadgets and devices, they are protecting them. We're talking about the internet of things. Remember, this is device connecting to device. There's no people in the middle. Who puts in the password? How do we authenticate without a person there? That's what this is all about and keeping it safe from quantum attacks. As business across industries such as manufacturing, healthcare, automotive, and smart cities continue to adopt connected devices, the need for secure identity management is becoming increasingly vital. The company's innovative PKI, this is, um, let me see, we've got it up here. That is 
public key infrastructure. They tell us that the PKI based approach guarantees that each internet of things device is secure and authenticated and trusted throughout its life cycle. COQ's focus is on selling integrated solutions based on semiconductors, PKI, and provisioning services while developing post-quantum technology hardware and software products. Our solutions can be used in a variety of applications. I mean, they just can't even start to tell us how many applications they have, but they try. From multi-factor authentication tokens, smart energy, smart home, medical, healthcare, IT network infrastructure, to automotive, industrial automation, and control systems. Post-quantum cryptography refers to cryptographic methods that are secure against attack by a quantum computer. As quantum computers become more powerful, they may be able to break many of the secret code methods we are currently using to protect sensitive information. And that's really what it's all about here, folks. Now, if you want to get into the details of what they do, they've got lots of information at their website. This is a great place to be doing your due diligence. They are involved with lots of different facets of business, doing lots of different things, working with device to cloud, satellite internet connections, uh, device to device. Oh, here's one, anti-counterfeiting and brand protection. Now, they do work mostly with gadgets, devices, electronics, but they also work with non-electronic stuff. They have brand protection for, I don't know, your tennis shoes, your handbags, clothing, whatever. I'm not quite sure what it is, but they are involved with that. And they're dealing in all the sectors, and I'm sure this is just going to get bigger as time goes on. Smart energy, smart home, automotive and EV charging, aerospace and military, telecommunications, medical, luxury, whatever that is. So they are doing a lot. There's a lot of information. We're not going to go into any of it right now. I'm going to let you do that, but now you know where to do it. Now let's take a look at the news. This <laughs> overwhelming folks, that's one month's worth of news right there. Oh my God. This company just pours out news and all of it is different. It's not like it's the same news progressing to something else. No, every single tidbit here is different. Let's just take a look at some of the headlines. We're not going to dive into these. The company is leading the charge in helping clients transition from digitalization to robotization. The company unveils revolutionary artificial intelligence for Internet of Things strategy. Of course, they're involved with AI. The company secures autonomous aero vehicles partnership with major drone manufacturer. The company supports telcos and accelerating adoption of eSIM specifications and remote SIM provisioning. Is this dealing with phones? The company utilizes ultra secure data centers in Switzerland to store and process vast amounts of data generated by their sensors and semiconductors. Well, that just makes sense, right? You want to keep all your information in the safest place. Switzerland is the safest place. The company enabled digital crypto wallet features designed to safeguard against potential quantum computing threats. That one never crossed my mind. I mean, there's a lot of digital wallets out there that have a lot of valuable assets in them, not just money, crypto. And if somebody could break in with quantum, goodness gracious, what havoc would that create? So that's a great thing. Then they are testing a chip for quantum resistant platforms for the next generation YSAT satellite. They're also demonstrating enhanced Internet of Things security to secure elements for matter commissioning. I have no idea what that is. And then the most recent piece of news came out yesterday. The company revolutionizes Internet of Things security with scalable PKI-based digital identity and integrity solutions. See, the neat thing here is, is they don't have anybody to put in a password on the Internet of Things. It goes from device to device. So what this company has done, because you need to know you're connecting to the right device, a secure device, the right device. Well, they have now encoded, embedded the credentials, the PK information into the chips 
and then they protect the chips from being attacked by quantum computing. So this is how they're doing it. Now, right now you can go online to a lot of places with your computer and they recognize your computer by your hardware configuration. That's basically a signature for every single piece, but everybody has that same signature on that piece, right? But my computer has a configured a certain way with other pieces. That's how they recognize me. But now to separate one piece from another, you give it a chip that has a code on it so that you can tell my processor from his processor, completely, totally different. So as you can see, they are involved in a lot and this company is only going to be growing because the internet of things is just getting going folks, smart cities, uh, I mean, whatever the internet of things is just getting going. And this is for 5g so that devices can talk to devices without any slowdown time dealing with humans. That is what it's all about. All right, let's see what the relative volume was around the company today. Well, that surprises me. You'd have thought I already saw this, didn't you? No, I look at the important stuff and the rest we just deal with as we come to it. Ouch. We have dropped like 66% on our volume, which wasn't really high before. We were doing 1.7 million shares on a major exchange. That's an average every day over the last 30 days. Today, we did like one third of that, less than one third, 460,000 shares. I'm not crazy about that, but in saying that, notice that the stock was up. I saw it up near 12, 13%. She's dropped a little bit, but with less volume, she did climb. That's a good sign. Share structure for the company. Oh, we've got a nice share count. Outstanding share count isn't even 16 million. I don't know what the float is. I don't know what the insider zone, so I can't figure it out. But I do know it's not going to be any higher than the outstanding share count. So as far as I'm concerned, we've got a low float. That is excellent. Market cap for the company is currently $7.3 million. Financials. Is Seals making any money? You bet she is. And it's been increasing consecutively year after year. Remember, we've got to put three zeros on any of the numbers on these charts. So we are dealing with millions of dollars here. 2020, we were at 14.3 million. At the end of 2023, we had jumped up to 30 million, jumping every single year. Not only that, our profits have been increasing, not just in size, but the margin. Back here, when we had 14 million, we were doing just a little over 30%. Here we have 30 million and we're closing in on 50%. I'm liking that. Quarterlies, they don't give us any over here but we do get a balance sheet. Now we got to bring those three zeros over here as well. Looking at this top line, cash and cash equivalents, I think of as the bank. We've got about 7 million in the bank. Total assets, everything added together, about 30 million. All their debt added together, about 23 million. So we are up 5 million, which if you look over the last three years, folks, is a huge improvement. <laughs> Back in 2021, we were at 13 and a half million down. We were holding deficit. Then they barely got up in 2022 to 212 and now we're at 5 million. So it is growing, not only the equity, but the revenues and the profit. So as far as I'm concerned, fundamentally, this is looking pretty good. Take a look at those disclosures. Uh, let's see here. The most recent one came out uh, about a month and a half ago. Yes, we do need to talk about this one. The NASDAQ has reached out and contacted them that their price has been under a dollar for too long. Now, normally too long is six months, but here recently 60 days, 30 days can qualify as too long. What happens now is they get a deadline. They got to get that price up over a dollar by January 28th of 2025. Now, it's not just about getting it to a dollar. It has to close over a dollar, 10 consecutive days. Then they're out of hot water. But you know what? They shouldn't be sending this to the company. They should be sending it to us because we are the only ones that can push that price up. The only way the company can do it is with the reverse stock split. And that's what they'll have to do if we don't bid the price up in time or get thrown down to the OTC market. 
So we've got about, what, four or five months now to get this price up over a dollar, stay over a dollar for 10 days, then we are out of hot water. So that takes care of all of our filings and that takes care of all the information. I like the company fundamentally. I like what they're doing with technology. They are protecting every single device which they all need. And everybody's gonna be looking for this type of security. And this company is in there, man. They have got every niche covered. So do your homework and you'll see this is a company to be watching. I think there's gonna be a lot of growth with this company, not only in, in the revenues, but in the size, how big they are. All right, let's go take a look at a hot chart that I'm excited about. That is why we're looking at this stock in the first place. Ooh, I just had a great idea. Why don't you chart along with me using your own charting platform? I'll wait for you to set it up. Go ahead. Do, 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 do. <laughs> all right, all right, we'll use my trading platform. We're over here at Think or Swim. We're taking a look at Seal SQ Corporation, ticker L-A-E-S. Got her opened up to a six-month, four-hour view. And as you can see, it has been in a serious downtrend for most of this time. But we looked at this before the downtrend, before the surge. We looked at this at the end of January. It was just about two bucks. Over the next eight days, we could have taken gains any one of those days. She rose almost two bucks to $3.95. Once she hit this high, she went into a tailspin, fell through that 200, and then went into that serious downtrend all the way down to this low of 29 cents halfway through August. Now, focusing in on current times, we're going to have to deal with my yellow lines here. Those are my supports and resistances. I can't trade without them, folks. Honestly. Supports and resistances show us where the price likes to stop, slow down, change directions. They're like speed bumps. So I watch the price approach a speed bump, and normally, just like a car, it'll slow down before it hits a speed bump. And that's where I get off because it may back up. But once it gets over the speed bump, it usually speeds up. So that's where I get in. Like I said, I can't trade without my S and R's. So you can see we were in a serious downtrend here underneath the 200, going through all of these supports and resistances down to that low. On this low, we bounced and bounced hard, going through all of the MAs, pushing towards that 200, but just didn't have enough strength to get to it. Started going sideways for a few days, waiting for some support. Here comes our 20-day SMA. She bounced off of that and crushed it. Went through the 200 and three resistances and tapped the fourth. This went from 55 cents up to 87 cents before she decided to come back down underneath all the MAs. Now she's coming back up again. She is pushing towards that 200 looking strong. Our volume, nothing to get excited about. But our oscillators look good. Our PPO is, has an imminent crossover. That blue line is just about ready to get on top of the pink. That'll give us some more strength. Your PPO, your percentage price oscillator, is a lot like your MACD. The percentage price oscillator uses a percentage of the price, and your MACD uses the whole price. Well, our MACD's looking good. She had a crossover a few days ago, and now she's about ready to cross the signal line. And look at all those green bars accumulating. That's positive strength there. And our RSI is just under 55, the coolest I like to see it. But she is rising. She has come all the way up from 35 to virtually 55. Let's come on down to our 20-day, one-hour view. So we've got a low here of 30 cents underneath all the MAs. She jumped up, bounced off of our 200 haul. See how it changed colors here? Once it changed colors, she jumped up on top of the 50 and started the climb. Got through the 200, fell down to the strong MAs, the 50 and the 200 haul, and she's been climbing all the way up to that 86 cents. Then she's come right back down. Kind of looks like a mirror image here, doesn't it? Like a head and shoulders? Yeah, head and shoulders normally pushes the stock down. Well, she's come down, she has now found a floor right there, and she is curving up. Now look, folks, look at this area over here compared to this. It's the same thing. We have our 200 haul at the bottom, which just turned blue and started to climb here, like we've got going on right here. And when did this start to climb? 
right when that changed colors, when it got up on top of the 50 and our 200 haul turned blue. This looks like it is ready to climb to and through the 200, not just up to it. I'm expecting this to be pushed right through that 200 and it could be another good strong belt. But of course, if she looks like she's slowing down, coming up to one of these speed bumps, sell half of what you've got. But if it looks like a green light like that, you may want to ride it to the next one. But always, always take some gains on these supports and resistances so you don't get caught when she starts to fall fast. Our oscillators are still looking good. PPO is climbing. MACD is climbing. Though our green bars are slowing down a bit. I see she is cooling off after market up there. And our RSI just about hit overbought. We got up there at about 69. Right now we are back down to 63. Taking a look at our, you know, I want to look at the 30 minute because I want you to see that. She came down, hit a low here, the floor, right? She's floating on top of that 200 haul and there she goes, folks. She's over top of the 50, breaking the 200, fighting that now with all the MAs pushing up. This looks strong. 15 minute, stronger. <laughs> our 200 was in a serious downfall here, leveled out today and now it is starting to climb. All of our SMAs have crossed it. We had a pullback. Our price was floating on the nine day SMA all day today. She came back, went through the 20, which you should expect folks. She took that and she has bounced back right now. Oscillators say she is on recovery. Everything is turned up and starting to climb. I'm liking all the charts for LAES. I like the fact that they have news that comes out regularly, folks. Those are catalysts. It's like a small piece of wood being thrown onto the fire constantly. That fire isn't going to go out. Yes, we've got bounces. Those are going to be buying opportunities. But I think, look at that. I think this is ready to change her trend and now start to start climbing. Start to start climbing. That's exactly what I meant to say. But there is a ton more research that you can do on this company. And when you get over to their website, which is the best place to do it, I normally say the financial, but the website is packed with information about all the different services that they have and all the different technologies they're working with. And when you get through it all, I'm sure you will be psyched as well. Remember, folks, the more you know, the more you're going to grow. See ya.